What's up guys? It's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. So I went to Target for a lip liner, which they didn't even have in stock. And I found myself just kind of perusing the makeup aisle. Yeah, so I ended up with a full bag of makeup, you guys. So I thought it would be really fun to do a video where I kind of do a Target makeup haul and try on because I'm really curious about a lot of these products that I got. So yeah, if you guys want to see what kind of makeup I got from Target, then just keep watching. Okay, so very first thing I picked up was this. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation with SPF 15 in it. It's supposed to be a luminous, lightweight, and buildable hydrating formula. Now I have never tried Wet n Wild's Photo Focus Foundation. So I don't really know what to expect at all when it comes to foundations from Wet n Wild. The only thing I don't like about this is that it doesn't have very many shades, at least at the store it didn't. I picked up the shade Light Ivory. This was the lightest shade they had. Normally I kind of look at other YouTuber videos to see what the shades are like, but there was literally none that I could find at, when I was at Target like really quickly. This is what it looks like. It comes with a nice mirror. It's currently protected by a little sheet. Then it comes with this little cute little sponge. It actually feels really soft, so I might try it. And then that's the foundation. It kind of looks like it's my shade. That looks kind of funky. Honestly, the cushion feels really good. I just don't know if I'm going to be getting the coverage that I really want. You know what? Let me switch to a brush. It almost smells like baby powder or something. Probably the SPF in there that's making it smell. It definitely has a luminous finish to it so far. Oh no, it looks like it's sticking to some rough patches I have before and this is after. So I will say it's really easy to blend. Yeah, it is picking up the texture on my zit. I have a lot of texture right there. So I wasn't expecting it to really like cover that. <laughs> Let me go over this with a sponge. I'm just going to take some of the product, put it on the sponge and then kind of roll it over the skin. Hopefully that kind of smooths it out a bit. I definitely would say this is more like a light to medium coverage. I wouldn't say it's anywhere near full coverage. Like it's picking up a lot of the texture on there. I don't know, you could probably see that on camera since it's so bad. It's definitely not the worst foundation I've ever tried from the drugstore. I think I'm gonna move on to the next product. So I decided to pick up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus concealer. I've heard so many amazing things about this concealer and I picked up this shade Light Ivory. I feel like this is going to be a little too dark for my skin, but they only have three shades in stock. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's so dark. You know what? We're just going to do one eye and blend it out with a little mini sponge. Okay, maybe not. I don't know. It's blending out brighter. Put some on the eyes and a little more. I feel like I need more. Whoa, look at the coverage it gives. Whoa, that's nice. I really like this concealer so far, so I'm gonna set this. I'm just gonna be setting it with some NYX HD Banana Powder. Take a little bit of that. Then I also picked up this powder. This is the number seven Perfect Light Loose Powder, and I picked it up in this shade Translucent. I've heard so many amazing things about this from the YouTuber Ali Glines. <gasps> It comes with a little puff. Oh my gosh, this kind of reminds me of the Laura Mercier powder. It just seems like such a light and fluffy powder. I think I'm just gonna pour a little bit out onto the lid. Ooh, it's getting everywhere. <laughs> just gonna take a brush really quick and kind of pat it. I don't know if it's just the foundation, but I feel like this powder is making everything look so cakey right now. And I feel like the powder is like a nice powder, but I feel like with this foundation, it's just not going on as beautifully as it can. I'm gonna have to test this powder out with a different foundation because I've heard really good things about it. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzer. I picked this up sometime over the summer at Walmart. This is like my favorite drugstore bronzer. I feel like everything is just emphasizing the texture on my skin today, but I genuinely think it's the foundation that's doing it. <laughs> so the next thing I got is this e.l.f. blush. This is their Barely Bare line, and it is in the shade Rose Royalty. So this is supposed to create a flawless natural look. It's super lightweight and sheer. This packaging, you guys, is so cute. Oh my goodness. Now, I've never actually tried a cream to powder blush before, I don't think. Oh, I shouldn't have put powder on. <gasps> Oops. Oh my gosh, it just looks so perfect. It's actually like a really pretty natural color. Gosh darn it, I shouldn't have put powder on. We're gonna try it just in case you guys mess up. <gasps> oh my God, that is so pretty. I feel like you can definitely build this up. Oh my gosh, I actually might pick up the other color they had. They had like a peachy color. I'm curious since it says it's cream to powder, if I can just take the powder brush I used and kind of just blend out the edges. Ooh, actually that works. <laughs> that is a beautiful blush 
for $4. Oh my gosh. I didn't get any new eyeshadows, unfortunately. I'm just gonna be using the Maybelline Lemonade Craze. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to tell you what I'm doing. I'm dipping it into the shade Sweet Tea and just kind of putting that in my crease. Then I'm gonna go into the shade, ooh. Let's go with Coral Punch and just put that on the lid. Then I'm dipping into the shade Ice Pop right here. It's such a beautiful color. And I'm gonna kind of put this on the outer portion of my eyelid, kind of blending it towards the center of the lid and then a little bit into the crease. Then I'm gonna be taking the shade Old Fashioned and really kind of blending that into the outer corners of the eyelid. Oh my gosh, you guys hear the hammer banging? Literally, the apartments behind me and like all the way in front of me, they are under construction and it has been driving me crazy. I literally haven't been able to film. So I'm gonna dip into old fashioned one more time on like a flatter brush and just using this on the lower lash line. I'm actually gonna be taking that old fashioned shade again and just deepening up the outer corners. And then just on a plain fluffy brush, I'm gonna be taking the shade Sherbert up here and then Sunny's, tapping off the excess and then using it for my brow bone. Right, then I'm gonna be taking the Physicians Formula Eye Booster in the shade Ultra Black. This liquid liner I actually tested out in my like full phase of Physicians Formula video. So if you guys wanna see my first impressions on it, I'm just gonna suggest it up above. But it was such a fun video. I actually really like Physicians Formula. Right, I'm just gonna curl my lashes really, really quickly. Then I'm gonna be using L'Oreal's Telescopic Mascara. This is also not a new product, but I just love the drama this mascara brings. Okay, next I wanna work on my brow. I actually bought this a couple weeks ago and I've been experimenting with it, but it is the e.l.f. Brow Pencil and I actually really, really like it. I think it was only $2. I would definitely say this brow pencil isn't like super precise, but it is really good at just like quickly filling in your brows. So the next thing I'm gonna try is the e.l.f. Baked Highlighter in the shade Moonlight Pearls. Now I don't know if this is the specific shade, but I heard there's a shade of this baked highlighter powder that reminds people of the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. So I definitely wanted to give their baked highlighter a try and it says this is a new color. Oh my gosh, this just looks so beautiful. I'm just gonna swatch this for you guys. I was expecting it to be creamier. I don't know why, but it's like a very hard powder. Really, really hard to see, but it's like right there. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to catch it on camera. So I'm just gonna take a brush. Maybe the brush applies it differently. Oh, oh my gosh, the brush makes all the difference. This kind of does remind me of the Becca highlights. Ooh, ooh, I like this. A little bit on the brow bone. Oh my gosh, why is this not talked about more? I'm gonna put a little bit down my nose. This was only $4, you guys. And like the Becca highlights are, I think, more than like 20 something dollars each. I'm gonna put a little bit on my inner corner of my eye. Like it is a blinding, beautiful highlight. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about that. <laughs> okay, and then the very last thing that I picked up is the Physicians Formula Healthy Lip in the shade Fight Free Reticles. It's kind of a weird, funky name. I actually love the Healthy Lip formulas from Physicians Formula. They're so amazing. Every color I've bought from them, I have fallen in love with. So this is a new shade that I've never tried before. Just gonna swatch it for you. Look how gorgeous. <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this lip color. I don't normally wear such like bold lip colors, but it's so beautiful oh my gosh i feel like this would be such a gorgeous red for like the winter time so that is the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up it really really helps support my channel and question of the video what is your current favorite drugstore product please let me know i absolutely love trying different drugstore products also if you are new to my channel hi I'm Amelia. <laughs> if you guys want to see more beauty tutorials, reviews, and try-ons, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button that is right down below. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye!